Hi Pisces, welcome to your When Will You Meet Your Soulmate Tarot reading. Let's jump into it. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, if you could leave behind a like or a subscribe, that would be absolutely appreciated. Um, so thank you in advance for doing that, Pisces. So let's get into it. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. When will you meet your soulmate? Pisces. Okay, you're going to meet uh, you're going to meet your soulmate when you encounter um, some sort of obstacles in mentality or communication. I almost feel like you have to close off a chapter to the past before you let this new person into your life. Now, Pisces, um, what I mean when I say that is because the Page of Swords looks back. The Page of Swords is is scared to move forward in a situation. And you can see that he looks behind him, still reflecting, still dwelling, still attached to the past in some way, shape or form. Now, for a lot of you, it could be that there is still an attachment here to an air sign, maybe a water sign. It can be any sign, really. But none, uh, nonetheless, it doesn't change what the Page of Swords represents. And I feel like there, there hasn't been a chapter that you've closed uh, or that you've said goodbye to, or it could be a person. Uh, and maybe it's been a big chapter, maybe it was a very short chapter, but nonetheless, there are still some sort of residual feelings coming up with the Page of Swords. And he is not ready to move forward and look forward in the situation. And some of you could, it could be that once you close this chapter, you will be having that offer of love, of true love that's coming in for you. Also with the Five of Swords, this is more, um, I guess, more support of, of what I said before here that you need to leave something behind um, for some of you you might be leaving a person a job um, a relationship um, a living situation an old way of thinking uh, an outdated way of thinking Pisces with the five of swords um, and that's when someone new is going to come into your life and notice how he picks up the swords this is really about rebuilding um, it's about picking yourself up, dusting yourself off, and continuing on with with your love journey. So I think for a lot of you, your soulmate is going to come in when you've picked up the pieces. Now, this can be translated into a lot of different things. This could even be making sense of something. Um, it could be understanding. It could be enlightenment. But it's almost like picking up the pieces, understanding what something was or what it wasn't in the past and I think it's more to do with love um, and, and starting again it could be in regards to different areas of your life um, it could be picking up the pieces and, and rekindling a, um, a a parent relationship um, rekindling a friendship um, it's even rebuilding yourself internally uh, because although the swords represent communication they also represent our mental way of thinking our state of mind our psyche so the fact that that's coming up says to me that there is some sort of transformation um, and you'll be meeting your soulmate when you pick up the pieces or you finally let go of someone and change who you are, whether that is internal or external. Um, and for a lot of you, I feel like with the Seven of Swords, although it does represent obstacles, it can represent um, some sort of obstacle coming in here. Because it can represent deception, I feel for a lot of you, there's something that needs to come to the forefront that's either taboo or deceiving. Um, and only then will you clear the energy to meet the soulmate here. But I also want to mention, a lot of you could be dancing around your soulmate now. Notice how he's tiptoeing, he's beating around the bush. So I think for a lot of you, you've made indirect contact with the soulmate already. Now... This could be through communication, this could be through words, this could be through a gesture. Maybe you've walked past each other, or maybe it's more than that. Maybe you are dancing around each other. Maybe you notice that there's something deeper there and you'd like to explore it, Pisces. But instead, a lot of you might be currently dancing around a soulmate. Either you're not communicating right now, maybe you've blocked each other, um, maybe you've said some harsh words, you know, you've the swords are here, swords are sharp, so maybe there's been a spiteful exchange of words or um, accusations or presumptions or trust issues even. 
But I feel for a lot of you, there is a connection that's already established here with a soulmate. So I feel for a lot of you, you're already dancing around this person. They're orbiting you. Now, they could be orbiting you on social media. They could be dancing around you, you know, coming and going in your life, coming in and out. It could be this as well. Um, that's coming up with that Seven of Swords energy. So that's quite interesting. Again, it could be an air sign here that you might be destined to meet. It, that could also be the case here with the Seven. But I feel like it could even be that you've walked away. A lot of you might have walked away from a soulmate. But notice how he's looking back, he's looking back, he's looking back. What's going on, Pisces? You, you, for a lot of you, you're, you keep looking back to this person. You've, they've never left your thoughts. They've never left your heart. Um, or there is still something here. There's still a flame. Whether it's burning embers, there is still something here. There's still something that binds the two of you together. It's very powerful. Some of you have chosen to walk away from this person already. And for others, if you haven't met them, then I feel... Uh, I feel they're orbiting you, okay, they're around, they're in your vicinity somewhere, so that's quite interesting. And then you also have the Knight of Cups. Now the Knight of Cups can be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, he really comes from an honest place and this is a, it's a very, um, it's a very pure connection or a very pure person. I feel as though because it could be you coming up as a Knight of Cups, you might be taking more proactiveness and initiative to go ahead and meet your soulmate. It could also be that there's an offer that comes from you rather than this other person. Of course, the offer of love could come from them if they're a water sign as well, but I feel for the most part, this is you. I feel for a lot of you, you're coming into some challenges in your life. But you're moving on up. See, see the the incline that you have in front of you. Call it complexities. Call it challenges. Call it goals. Okay, it's a mountain that you've got to climb. It's something that you're yet to achieve. And this could be something, a goal in other areas of your life. But I feel this is when you're going to encounter your soulmate. When you get to the top of that mountain, you're still yet to cross the river. But once you get to the top, I think that's when this person is coming in. I think they could be at the top waiting for you here. So that can be translated to there's complications or ambitious energy, something else that you've been wanting to do, wanting to accomplish in your life. I feel like once you reach that goal or that accomplishment or that achievement, and it can be anything, it can be achieving your goal weight, it can be achieving a dream career, it can be finally getting over that person, um, it can be getting your health up to par. It can be managing your social circle, getting to a certain level in your career, etc. It can be any area of your life, really, Pisces. But the fact that that's coming up, I feel like that person is going to meet you at the top. Now, because this is a biblical deck, this is a Christian medieval deck, the top of the mountain can symbolize Sinai, okay? And in the biblical tradition, in the Genesis story, in the Exodus story, we, we read, for those that aren't uh, familiar with the biblical text, we read that God's presence, okay, his spiritual um, divine presence always dwelt on the top of this mountain. This is where he called, on, uh, called Moses, where he called upon Moses to meet him. This is where he dwelt. Um, and even before that, in, in the in other Near Eastern traditions, such as the Mesopotamian tradition, um, and even in the Greek, in the classical mythologies, we would notice that gods dwelt on the top. You know, I think Mount Olympus, um, think the ziggurats of Babylon that, you know, went all the way up to the top because that's where the gods dwelt. That's where their presence was dwelt. So in a way, I feel like this is divine intervention when you reach a certain level in something, when you reach that top level, that top part of the mountain, this is divine intervention. This is where spirituality, God, your spirit guides, law of attraction will send you your soulmate okay so this is really powerful you also have the numbers five and seven here now these numbers could be significant around your soulmate you might be meeting in five to seven weeks five to seven years 57 weeks um the fifth of the seventh the seventh of the fifth 
So perhaps these numbers might be significant. Maybe it's something to take into account here, Pisces. But look, I will leave it at that. I hope this has been insightful. Thanks so much for tuning in and bye for now.